It's one of the biggest races. Here is the battle for Mark Souders' seat in Congress. After Souders' surprising resignation earlier this year, the race was on to find candidates. Two special caucuses decided Republican Marlon Stutzman and Democrat Tom Hayhurst were to battle for that seat. And that is where we start our team coverage tonight. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney and Don Austin join us from Democratic headquarters. What's happening out there, guys? Well, let me tell you, Mark and Heather, Don and I have been here for the past two hours, and they've been spending all that time uh, putting up the decorations. Those are all up now, and uh, we're just now waiting for people to start filing in. That's right. Um, actually, the TVs are on. They've already put out the food, and the people who are trickling in are really excited to see some of these numbers start to come in. I'm excited about the food. <laughs> yeah, me too. We'll be excited to go see that in just a minute. And like you said, the numbers are really going to be very interesting this year uh, because a lot of the races Races are all up in the air, and uh, to talk to us a little bit more about that is uh, Democratic, Allen County Democratic Party Chair, uh, Mike Bynum. Mike, thanks so much for joining us today. I know that you've been very, very busy all Thank day you. long. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the election overall. Uh, tell me about your feelings. Some would say that um, this is going to be kind of an uphill battle for Democrats this year. Give me your thoughts and feelings about this year. Well, I think what we've done is made sure that the public and this uh, make sure that they understand that we have a lot at stake right now. We've been coming through some crisis situations, and it's only been two years since this current administration has had an opportunity to put forth those things that they want to do. However, when you do not have cooperation across the aisle, it makes it that much more difficult in order to achieve what needs to be done for the American people and for the people in this community. Let's talk third congressional district race. Tom Hayhurst, he did not beat Mark Satter last time around. This time a different opponent, Marlon Stutzman. What makes him, what makes Tom Hayhurst different this year? Well, one of the things I think that Tom Hayhurst has done is that he's been out, he's been listening to the people. He's been asking what is it that you're dissatisfied with? And when you get that information, then you can formulate and say, I know where I need to go. I know what needs to be done and that the people are ready for a change. And I believe that change is coming today. Okay, thanks, Mike, so much for joining us today. Thank we you. really do appreciate it. Good luck to you and your party. You. Of course, there is another side to every race, and that side is the Republican side. And now we go to News Channel 15's Drew Blair and Adam Weiner, who now join us live from the Republican election headquarters. Drew and Adam.